It's time to spin the old visual and non-visual symptom wheel. Let's see what we get today. So many symptoms to choose from. Oh, we have a winner. Blue field and toptic phenomenon. That's a mouthful. And it's also one of Visual Snow's visual symptoms. It's also known as Schur's phenomenon, but blue field and toptic phenomenon is the most common name used. This is a physiological phenomenon that takes place in front of the retina. It includes the traits of the appearance of tiny bright white dots, which are actually white blood cells moving along capillaries in front of the retina. It also has the trait that is described as either squiggly lines or worms in the visual field. These are not to be confused with floaters, although they seem similar. Floaters are actual particles trapped in the vitreous humor inside the eyeball, which move within a liquid in the eyeball when one moves their eyes to look around. These squiggly lines are in front of the retina too, and are caused due to both white and red blood cells traveling through the capillary. Both the dots and squigglies appear in one's vision only when a monochromatic blue background or blue light itself is involved within the visual field, hence the name blue field and toptic phenomenon. So, if you look up into the blue sky and see a mixture of these things, this is why. And if you have visual snow syndrome, you might be wondering why it is considered a symptom when perhaps others without visual snow have said they see it too. Blue field and toptic phenomenon is not a symptom exclusive to visual snow, but those with visual snow tend to have a more extreme experience with it. I have a pretty bad case of it myself, and have even noticed it while looking at a projected image on a projector screen in certain angles. However, it is important to know that most people can see this phenomenon in the sky if asked to look for it, although it is rather weak and usually unnoticed for those without visual snow. Blue field and toptic phenomenon. Learn more about it by clicking the links in the description below. Make sure to subscribe and like and click the bell to be notified whenever a new video is launched. Also make sure to follow Bad Reception on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok for more visual snow content. What visual or non-visual symptom of visual snow syndrome would you like the wheel to land on next? Let me know in the comments section and I'll be sure to consider your ideas. Until next time, Bad Reception viewers.